Yeah, that beep. The G Collector 101 here. I think I just started on time. Oh my gosh. Anyways, and today I'm going to show you today's Camp Doll Dice Craft. So yesterday, so th this week's theme, as you guys know, is Outdoor Adventures. And yesterday we made a wagon, which is so awesome. And now, today, we made dolls. I just finished this one, and I know it looks horrible. <laughs> These are so hard to make. I mean, the little arms just... Oh my gosh, it was hard. Anyways, it turned out okay. Um, this was another craft inspired by Kirsten's. Now, see, the these dolls were made so that little children in church could play with the dolls. Uh, and they were made out of handkerchiefs, so then the little children would play with the dolls. They were made out of handkerchiefs. Uh, one second. I think somebody is knocking on my door. Oh. So basically, women would make their handkerchiefs and the little dolls for the girls to play, and they made them out of handkerchiefs, so that way when the child dropped it on the floor, it wouldn't make a loud noise. You see, what I'm thinking is, what happened when one of this, these ties came loose? Like, my doll's lost an arm! No, the thread just came loose. Like, I'm so glad I don't live in the 21st century. I would, or not, I'm so glad I don't live in 1554. I would totally disappoint my children. Uh, anyways, but yeah, that's my little doll. I think it's okay. I will make another one, probably. But, I mean, it's okay. So we'll toss her into the wagon there. Uh, anyways, that was my fun camp doll dicing. And, I'm probably not going to make this. But, um, I think there was someone else on Doll Diaries who um, posted a tutorial for... A doll-sized raft, which I just think is just, oh, oh my gosh, so what the heck, why is it not showing up? Why is it not showing up? There it is, there, there it is, there it is, there, there it is. I don't know why I just started singing that. For a doll-sized raft, because, wow, I'm sort of amazed at the amount of, um, like, actual big doll things. Although it requires, like, toilet and paper towel tubes, and I don't know if we have that many right now, because we sort of recycle them all. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I might not, I don't think I'll be making it, just because, I mean, I don't need a doll-sized raft. Although it is pretty cool, and it also requires a lot of duct tape. Anyways, but it is really cool how she does it. I will leave the link to both the Camp Doll Diaries craft for today, and the, uh, the other thing, the raft and the doobly-doo. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I, that's from watching John and Hank Green, the Vlog Brothers. I watch too much YouTube. If you haven't noticed that already, and oh my gosh, I am hot, so I'm going to turn on the fan. Oh my gosh. Oh, and also, I just had a hot dog. And now I have to read my two Google Plus updates. So, if you just commented... And I receive it. I like how you receive your comments as like a Google Plus notification. Although this is probably bad for um, like really big YouTubers who have like millions of subscribers, because then they must have like a hundred thousand of these little alerts on the little Google Plus bell. Anyways, ooh, someone commented on that, and someone commented on I might do Camp Doll Diaries, and do you have a Skype? AG Lover 199 I am going to answer that question in this video. No, I do not have a Skype. All I have is a Google Plus because I must a uh, YouTube and a blog. Okay. My Steel doll is taller than my Caroline doll. I think I just got that. Anyway, so no, I don't have a Skype. I don't have any other social media things. Seriously, there's so many sites I I'm not going to join any because like if I join Facebook, some people will want me to join Twitter and Instagram, Tumblr. As Mommy, as Gracie from the Mommy and Gracie Show says, da la la la. As Mommy, the Mommy and Gracie Show social media song. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Google Plus, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us in some places and don't be a hater. Oh, and also I finally made um, Camp Doll Diaries tags. I liked last year's tags better just because she had printables for them. This was the fr actually from cardstock from a folder. It took me like three tries to get enough space for the little holes. So, 
Yeah, um, I was kind of disappointed to see that today's craft was not really inspired by Kaya, but there are still, I think we do it on Saturday, right? There are still, like, um, let's see here. There are still days left for them to do a Kaya craft. So, I mean, I don't know if we are going to do a Kaya craft, because I know that Natalie at Doll Diaries has Kaya, so. I would assume. I don't know. I still have hope. Anyways, but that's about it. So, we will be on our journey in making sure that our dolls do not become decapitated. <laughs> Seriously, like, the little children, he's just playing with his doll and then bloop, it breaks. And then, or the tie comes loose and he's like, Oh my gosh, the head is off! <laughs> uh, reminds me of this one, um, Fur Real Friends Horse. If, any, if anybody remembers that, came out in like the 2000s when I was a really, when I was a wee little girl. <laughs> Anyways, when I was a little girl and I liked, um, and I liked little girl things, I was really big into fur real friends. You know, the robotic pets covered in fur. <laughs> so, um, I saw this horse and the horse was gigantic. It was like five feet tall. I'm five feet tall. I think it was four feet tall. Anyways, it was a giant horse. It cost $300. I don't know if it's still available now. I think it's been discontinued. But it was a giant horse that cost $300. And it, like, made sounds and made galloping sounds. I thought you could ride it. Like, it would actually gallop. That wasn't true. I believed a lot of weird things when I was little. Anyways, and so I was reading the reviews one night, one day because I really wanted that horse. I wanted that $300 horse that you could sit on. And it also came with, like, a carrot and a little brush. Oh, my gosh, good times. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, I was reading the reviews one day, one day, and one said, uh, beware, the horse's head comes disassembled from the body. So if you give this to a little child, be sure to assemble it before you give it to them. Because otherwise, you're going to give them a box, and the first thing they're going to pull out is a horse head. Nobody wants to pull out a horse head out of a box. Anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough, so thanks for watching. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Google Plus and look for us on our blog, theagcollector101.blogspot.com. And those are the only social medias we have. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.